Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted. But I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here, and I do not have the materials I need. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on a stranger, but I have no choice. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. Our tribe has survived this long without you interfering. We'll be fine. It is time, Yamars. You bring an outsider here, and now insist I call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. Drivers. I'm ah, fine without you. you. We'll be fine. Now we begin the ritual. Great Malakath, we beseech you, aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. You let giants, giants, Overrun my shrine! Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Yamars. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. 
I want a word. This is all your fault, you know. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Thanks to you, I've just been issued a challenge in front of my whole tribe by a Daedric Prince, no less. I can't ignore that. I didn't say I wouldn't fight the giant. I just said you're going to help me get to it. Meet me outside Fallowstone Cave. You clear the way to the giant for me, and I'll make sure you get paid for it. Let's just get this over with. I'll lead the way, but you'd better back me up. Let's get this over with. Hey! Alright, I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second.
Yamars was a fool, always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. But you took care of him and the Giants. Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagrul's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. I'm gonna find whoever did this. Lagersburg will not soon forget what you have done. We have a second chance thanks to you. But what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He. He died well. Ah, that is good to hear then. Yamars was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You. Place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. Be careful. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city, what does it matter? I think you'd be a little smarter than that. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Ah! I need to ask you to stop. That can't say I've heard of any laws against whatever that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up if I have to. I've got my eye on you. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I had another run-in with the Thief's Guild. Be careful, Mio. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. You're a stranger here too, huh? To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? You disappoint me. I expected someone from outside Riften to be different, but I see corruption's reach holds little regard for boundaries. Enjoy the city. It will suit you well. Ah! What was that? I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves' Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. 
Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, so basically no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Be seeing you around. I need to ask you to stop. Good. Be glad we straightened that out. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment Take would get Take my locked? advice. Don't Next listen time, to that talk and quiet and nothing would have down happened in to the you. ragged flag and what face are butcher me is more like it, it from what Why? I've heard. Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Huh? What do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you! Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. Never done an honest this is day's one of the work signs, in my life for all the that signs coin that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. The teachings of the I can tell. Of kind. No, no, Mara. It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. Yeah? What's your problem? I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. I if I presume can interest you're bothering you, me for a good special reason. drinks, let me know. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarls here, and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. 
out of my way. Ah, what in the I name of the moon do you want? Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. There's been another dragon attack. Kynesburg this time. Any luck with Sapphire? By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Mm-hmm. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The Forge knows the difference. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grelly. One more thing. I will hear no more. <laughs> it's Grelly. <laughs> Someone has killed Grilla! Oh, no <laughs> I yield! I yield! Grilla is dead! I meant to... Well? Grohog the kind. Is she... you know... Aha! I knew you could do it! I just knew it! I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me! Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
New in town, eh? Here for oh, the fishing, good. I guess. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, There's everyone! There's nothing like fishing on Lake Andre. You should try... Something, something amazing to show you that demands your attention. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. You need to hear this. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Brent. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said well, about the wisp I see that my time is and up. it turned out to be crushed mirror you root mixed with water. Yes, yes, what I haven't got all day. Time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Selling fine jewelry here.
If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. I don't know where you find your sources, but that last shipment of scuba was some of the best quality I've seen in years. Ah, just got lucky is all. Bumped into someone who knew someone dying breed. The rest just right itself. Well, I'll be happy to take over the operation for you. Take the Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. I'll be here when you're done. Veckel and me, we have a thing going. So I recommend you keep your hands off the merchandise. Come back later, but I may have some work for you. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. Yes? Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it puts some oh, coin in my pocket. Miss Maven. What can I do for you? Buying and selling fine Relax, jewels Maurice. Here. I have no quarrel with you. I just wish to speak a moment. Yes? You watch the market. You hear the rumors around Riften. What have you heard about these dragons? I heard a traveler say that Helgen was destroyed by one of those creatures. Didn't leave a soul alive, they said. Interesting. Ah! Keep your ears open and tell me if you hear anything more. Looking to stay I'll alive. make it worth Why take a chance? I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Want something or not? I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. You should head on home. You stupid lizard. I said, give me some more drink. Come on, give it your best shot. That's all you got. God, no. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands. Please stop. Hey, okay, take it. My skill in battle. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. So, can I interest you in anything today? Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? 
You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Come on! Is someone there? I'll pay. Here. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk about ah. this content. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. So, job's sure done and you even you brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. Ah! Watch Delphi. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brigno first. We could talk later. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. Better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. 
you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? If you're not sure, maybe you don't belong here. I'll ask again. Are we clear on all of this? No, but I know that you're going to turn up missing. I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? All right. I have everything you ask. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. My Golden Glow estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. No, but I know that you're going to turn out this Good. <laughs> 
not impressed. I'm going to find whoever you need. Someone there? Now you're mine. has no place here. No! Ah! Easily blocked.
Time to end this. Huh? Ah. Ah. What the huh? best you can do? Oh. Just a scratch. Uh. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well. I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whip lot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet lot. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild, making us look good too. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong, the first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it. And Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Always a pleasure. PlayStation.